The controversy over the ride-sharing companies and traditional cab companies has now moved into a new venue, from the streets to Orlando City Hall. Today, city commissioners held a workshop to try to hammer out the tails for an ordinance that would bring the ride-sharing companies into compliance. A final decision is months away, but as West 2's Michelle Meredith reports, the workshop today offered some hope. In the city beautiful, can ride-sharing companies like Uber and Lyft coexist with traditional cab and limo companies? We need to be the innovators. A lot of times we are the innovators when it comes to this stuff. At today's workshop at Orlando City Hall, the answer seemed to be yes. I think that there was an honest showing of, of compromise and an, an intention to realize that this technology is here, change is coming, and that um, they need to get ahead of this if they can. But elements in the city ordinance being drafted make it clear the transition will cost the ride-sharing companies money. For starters, the city says ride-sharing drivers will have to buy a city permit, which is now $500 per car. Ride-sharing drivers will have to increase their minimum fare to $3 a mile. Traditional cab drivers will be allowed to charge $240. City officials say that compensates for a cost cab companies take on, like accommodating the disabled, being available 24 7. One Uber driver did not like the sound of the forced price hike. But the thing that concerns me most about this is that one of the biggest appeals of the ride sharing services is it's less expensive, currently less expensive, and they want to mandate our service being more expensive. The city of Orlando will require proof of state insurance, background checks, and vehicle inspections from ride sharing drivers. Is the city trying to protect traditional cab companies? We're going an awful long way to protect the public, is what we're doing, but we want to be a 21st century city and accommodate new forms of transportation. City officials say as it stands now, ride-sharing companies are operating in violation of the Orlando City Ordinance. In Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.